Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is now Monday, April 8th. It's solar eclipse day, which I don't think I'm going to be able to see the solar eclipse and I probably don't even care to see it, but I am rocking and rolling. Um, we only got a few hours left of daylight. So, I mean, I'm just trying to get what I can done. So yesterday I finished up a wholesale order. I have another one that I'm about to start. I just got done doing these adorable hats for a event that I have this weekend and excuse my face, <laughs> my sunburn is now peeling. So putting makeup on is just pointless at this point and I kind of look homely, but it's okay because <laughs> we're rocking and rolling. Like I said, so anyways, I did these really cute hats for the pop-up this weekend that I have. Um, I think it was like a hundred dollar vendor fee. And so they were like, Hey, would you rather do hats for us instead? So I was like, yes, I would rather actually. So I got one more left on the machine to do. And then I'm going to work on this other hat wholesale order. I've been doing hats for two days now, but honestly, I love doing hats. They're so easy. You pop them on, pop them off. And that is it. Um, but besides that, I just got my second $500 order in the last four days, five days, something like that on fair. So that's awesome. I'm super excited about that. And it's some kid tees. So that is going to be mainly sublimation. Um, I've decided to bring more stuff to the event this weekend. So I contacted my transfer lady. I really don't use her unless it's last minute because she's kind of expensive. Um, I contacted her to see if what her turnaround time was. And she told me that she will be printing tomorrow. So I need to send her everything today. So I'm going to pull all these shirts that I have to see what I, how many like whites I have. I have some blues, some pinks. So I'm going to try to see what all I have that I can pull and figure out what transfers I can put on what. Some of them are like baseballs and bows and it says tease the season. I don't know if I should put them on youth or if I should put them on adults. I'm kind of struggling what to do with that. So. I'm going to check my inventory here. I do have plans to place another order for adult shirts, but I also want to bring some kids stuff. Maybe. I don't know. I, I, I truly struggle with trying to figure out what to bring to some of these events. Um, now one event I did was at a children's store and she reached out and I think I was like maybe the, one of the first people that she asked to come and she's like, what do you want to do? And so I kind of, she already knew what I did. Um, her mom of that store, her mom owns Lee street in Zachary. So she already kind of knew what I did. So she was like, well, why don't you do this? Because I do have somebody else wanting to do adult stuff. So I did just children's stuff for that. We have such a wide variety of things. It's very easy for us to say, okay, we know what works here at this event. We know what works at this event. You know, we do an event at a boutique in Watson in November, every November we try to do it. I think we've done it too two Novembers in a row and we know what to bring there. It is the younger girls. They're looking for fun stuff. I know we knew what to bring. Now our hat with, I did bring my hat bar to that and it didn't do that great, but that was like kind of my first event with a hat bar. Um, but my sweatshirts pretty much sold out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I just, I just like kind of trying to figure out if I should bring adult stuff or kid stuff. I may, Actually, you know what I might do? I might just email them and say, hey, like, should I do this in adult or tease? Like, I've never done this before. What do you think? So, never done this event before. I've done events, but not this one. So, I may reach out and do that before I order these transfers because I would hate to have to get these transfers and I put them on the wrong shirts. So, anywho, I'm just rambling. Today, I want to organize our patches. I have a ton of patches that came in. I have a ton more coming in. I'm having a nervous breakdown because I'm like, I don't know if I have enough. Okay, so it is now Monday um, at 8, it's 8.20 at night. So my kids are down. I finished both of the hat orders that I had to do. The big wholesale order. I'm getting irritated. <laughs> um, my mom wasn't able to finish it all. So I did all most of these sweatshirts like i think she did have i did like four i have one sweatshirt that has a line down it and i'm trying to get it off i it looks like it might come off i don't have another white one this order has to go out tomorrow so i'm a little nervous i don't know what to do unless i can get one 
Amazon here tomorrow. <laughs> um, so anyways, um, I'm going to kind of watch that stain and see if it comes out. And then after that, I still have, this is what I'm putting on the sweatshirts. Paper. Okay, so after that sweatshirt, all I have left are these two pink toddler shirts, and that's what's going on them. So if you've watched some of my previous videos, you know my mom does most of the sublimation. Something was going on with her heat press, and it was not evenly distributing the ink on the shirt, so I got stuck doing them, <laughs> which is fine. Um, but I did have, like, I had the embroidery machine going. I was working on ordering shirts. I just spent like another four, almost $500 on shirts for the event this weekend after I said I wasn't going to bring shirts, but I'm bringing them. So I have a few different transfers that I'm going to bring. The All of these things, if they don't sell this weekend, they're going into the boutique at Lee Street. So I'm not very concerned about it. We can go ahead and knock this stuff out of the way. Some of it is um, 4th of July. I have mama stuff like a bunch of mama little floral transfers are very cute i already have most of the shirts so i didn't have to order a lot of those i have another roll of transfers i have to go through for this stack of shirts this has to go out on saturday so um the rest of the week i have three shirts i have to do to drop off at the boutique but for the rest of the week and then i just did get another shirt online oh gosh um so anyways for the rest of the week, my plan is to do nothing but embroidery stuff for this event. I did say earlier in my video that I was going to organize my patches, but I also said in my video that's going to be out on Tuesday that I was my next video, which will be this Thursday's video, which is this video now, was going to be my 3D puff stuff because this is becoming super popular. So we're going to go ahead and get the 3D puff on. Then I'm going to organize my sweatshirts, make sure that I have them all, count them all, get them packaged up in these clear little cellophane bags. I only have a few of these, so I'm going to package as many as I can in one. Um, and then really the sweatshirts in those two pink shirts is all I have left for that huge order. So that's exciting. I'm ready for that to go out. And I did get another $500 order today. So I have... I have that printed out in my little envelope and yes I am doing pink paper not on purpose I ran out of paper printer paper cardstock everything else so I'm using pink cardstock paper for now but it's kind of aesthetically pleasing so we're gonna go ahead and go with it but anyways I have my green shirt hooped I will link where I got my wow so I'm putting wildcats on this because the school that is out there in Ethel, where the pop-up event will be next weekend, or this coming weekend, is the, they're the Silliman Wildcats. So I have this green shirt. They're green and gold. I think I'm going to do green and white because I just really don't like this gold color on there. I don't know. So I'm going to do green and white, and let's pray that I have another white in here. Yes, I do. Okay. So I'm going to do green and white, and then... It will also help because my foam is a white. So if you've watched a few videos on TikTok or even I, I just watched Angelina Jasmina's video that just came out. She said you need a heat gun. I don't have one. I think my mom has one. So if anything, I'll have to go grab hers and just use it later sometime this week. But I definitely want to get some of these done right now. And this may be the only one I get done. I don't know. Um, I do have to go to work tomorrow. I have a hair appointment in the morning. I have a meeting as soon as I get to the office. So I have a lot going on tomorrow. And then I'm going to be back at it again tomorrow night. I definitely want to get these orders that I need to do. This one's just a graduation transfer, which I have everything that I need. I'd like to get this stuff done so I can get my husband and drop it off at the store tomorrow. I also forgot something to pick up on Sunday when I went. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna get him to grab that. But yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So my green shirt, it's a Gildan. I'm using my Melco hoops because I don't have a mighty hoop this way. So we're gonna go ahead and use this. I'm gonna pop it on. I need to move my presser foot up some. It is now set up for hats because I've been doing hats all day. So I'm gonna go ahead and center this on here. 
oh, like I said, or, uh, like I was trying to say earlier, I will link the design on the from the Etsy shop that I bought some of this stuff from. It's a little pricey, but I'm assuming it's because one, it's popular, and two, I, I don't know, <laughs> maybe because it's more stitches. I'm not really positive. So, anyways, let's go ahead and pop this on, and I'm gonna trace where this needs to be, and then kind of cut out the foam from what I see. So I'm gonna go up, my hat is set to four on the presser foot, I'm gonna go up to five. We're gonna see how that works. I did have it lowered um, when I did my little test run that I showed earlier in the video on the little smiley face shirt, and I definitely saw that I need to go up more. So I'm gonna go to five on my machine, and we're gonna see how this works. So I have a few of these green sweatshirts left over from Christmas and a few other things. Um, I'm going to just put this on here and hope that they sell this weekend. If not, I'm sure I can stick it in the boutique in Zachary. Ethel and Zachary's not far apart from each other, so I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. If I did stick them in there, I'm sure they would sell. If not, I could put them online, put them on TikTok, something. So I got my center point. I'm going to go ahead and cut my foam. Okay, so I have my foam cut. I probably could fit two of these on here, so I'm gonna try to use, you know, one part up here. We're gonna go ahead, yeah, it's a little big, but it's okay. I'm gonna move my target tag, and we will go ahead and place this here. I do want to trace, um, I need to cut this off. So I'm gonna cut about this much off of that. All right, this might fit a little bit better, and let's go ahead and trace one more time. Oh no, that would be the start. We are ready to start, so let's go. Okay, I think I need to move my presser foot up just a tad bit more. All right, let's try that. is done so let's go ahead and get it off here it is it looks really good Okay, y'all, this came out so good. I am so pleased with it. I definitely think I'm going to have to take a hot gun. I may try the heat press. I'm not sure how that would do. I did take a lighter to the smiley face shirt I did, and I did say that before, that it kind of burnt the thread. So definitely be careful with that. But I do see a lot of people that use it. But the this foam, this brand, did not shrink. Now, I have used other brands on something for my son, just to test out the whole 3D foam thing. It was something off of Amazon. It was a craft foam that shrunk. This has not been shrinking. So 
I'm not sure. My mom does have a heat gun. I will definitely try to use that, but this came out really good. I'm very happy with it. Let's go ahead and take it off the hoop. I have been dying to do this for like a few days now. I had plans to do it on Saturday or Sunday and then it, it didn't work out for me. So yeah, look how good that looks. Absolutely love it. I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up. I'm going to take a picture in my light box and get it on my website. Get it out there so people know that these will be at the market this weekend. I don't have a ton of these green sweatshirts, but I do have some green shirts. I'm not sure if I want to do the 3D foam on that or if I was going to do the Wildcat in the applique, the different fabrics. I'm not really positive. I do have a good bit of green and gold fabric in white and black. So I don't know. I guess it just depends on the time that I have. I definitely want to use today's Monday. I'm probably about to wrap things up. I did just do this shirt for one of the orders at the store. It says class 2024. You can find the shirt in my, on my website. And I have the sweatshirt that I think is going to be okay for me to sublimate on. I really don't see the stain on there anymore but it's kind of damp. So I'm not sure that I should sublimate on it quite yet. I might be, that might be something I do in the morning, but everything else is done except those two toddler shirts, which I will do next. But other than that, I got this going out, hats going out. Um, I'm trying to think, I know the rest of the week is going to be prep Thursday night is going to be, and I'm going to try to film as much as I can along the way. Thursday night is going to be getting my POS system, which I have not talked about yet, but I will get into that when I have it in my hand and I can show y'all what it looks like and where I got it. Um, I did get a POS system that is portable for me to use at this market because I'm not sure if I spoke about this in one of my other earlier videos, but my mom will be there helping me. I will have my friend's daughter there helping me. My husband will pop in and out with the kids you know, throughout the day, he's definitely going to come help me set up, but it is at six in the morning. So I have to figure out if we're going to wake the kids up that early or not, because we probably have to leave at 515 to get to Ethel. Cause I think that's about 30 minutes away. So anyways, Thursday night, my plan is to make sure I have everything done. All of my barcodes done, everything tagged, everything just perfect. That way my mom or the girl that's going to come help me can just like scan it it goes through, it's hooked up to the website and we can take payment by that or they can, they'll have a total and they can take payment on Venmo, PayPal, whatever they, whatever kind of app that they use. Um, so yeah, that's my plan is to prep the next three nights and work on, make sure everything is taken care of by Thursday. Still have to organize patches. So I will film that. I don't know if it'll be in this video like I thought it was going to be, <laughs> but I thought this was way cooler than organizing patches. So I got this done patches next. Hopefully I can wrap this stuff up tonight and get in bed early because I have a long day tomorrow and it's going to be another late night tomorrow. So thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all have a great weekend and I will see y'all and let y'all know how the market goes. I will try to film everything along the way. Have a great weekend. Thanks. Bye.